If only we all had a crystal ball or some sort of way to predict the future, real estate would be a heck of a lot easier to navigate, wouldn't it? Today, I'm reviewing some national experts' opinions on the real estate market as we look towards 2022, and I'll offer my opinion on what we'll see locally here in the greater Iowa City metro for the next year. Hi there, my name is Emily Farber and I'm a realtor here in Iowa City. I create YouTube videos all about real estate, specifically buying, selling, and relocating here in the Iowa City area. If that's the sort of content you're interested in, you should subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. If you would like to talk to me about your personal real estate goals, I would love to hear from you. You can find all of my contact information down below in the description box of this video. If you're watching this on your phone, just tap the title of this video and that description box will pop open for you. 2021 was a year for the record books in real estate. If you were a seller, you may have made more money on your house sale than you had ever dreamed possible. If you were a home buyer, especially a first time home buyer, even with the record low interest rates, you may be looking at 2021 more like a giant dumpster fire that you want to put in your rear view mirror. Nationally, the 2021 median single family home price was $416,900 according to US Census data. Zillow reports a sale price increase of 19.3% from the year before, a record high. And housing supply was at its lowest since the 70s. Here are some takeaways from the Iowa City Area Association of Realtors MLS numbers. Locally, our 2021 median single family home price this year for Iowa City, Coralville, North Liberty, and Tiffin was $320,000. That's a $20,000 increase, which comes out as a 6.25% increase from the year before. In the condo market, the median sold price for 2021 was $199,900, which was up 7.5% over the median price for a condo in 2020. The average list to sale price ratio for both single family homes and condos was right at or slightly above 100%, which points to a lot of multiple offers and or buyers who are making their very best offers right out of the gates. While we definitely saw larger than average year over year appreciation, it was not as intense as seen on the national level, which leads me to believe that there is probably still room left in our market for more property appreciation if the real estate market heads the direction I think it will in 2022. Demand for housing was high on both a national and a local level. The pandemic really stoked people's interest in home ownership with visions of having a safe space to hide away from the world. Record low interest rates were extremely attractive to buyers because they enable people to afford more house than they previously may have thought possible. Demand was also driven because new construction starts were way behind due to shortages of skilled tradespeople and supply chain troubles plaguing construction every single step of the way in 2021. Danielle Hill, chief economist at Realtor.com, reports builders are ramping up production with a 5% increase in new construction starts for the new year. But unfortunately, most new construction is priced out of the range of affordability for first time buyers. This matters in our current mix of supply and demand because millennials, the current largest generation by total population numbers and made up of people between the ages of 26 to 35 are prime time, first time home buyers. If they can't afford new construction, that means they are competing against each other and others for pre-existing homes. I don't foresee buyer demand dropping off, at least not in the early or mid parts of 2022. Interest rates are still very low and people want to take advantage of those before predicted rate increases happen. The Federal Reserve is giving signals that its pandemic monetary policy will come to an end as it works to slow down inflation, which means interest rates are going to go up. 
there is not a consensus on what the total rate hike may be. Lawrence Young, the National Association of Realtors Chief Economist, expects the 30-year fixed rate mortgage to increase up to 3.7% by the end of the year. Fannie Mae predicts will end 2022 at 3.3% and the Mortgage Bankers Association predicts 4% by the end of 2022. While those rates seem high compared to what we have had recently, they are comparable or lower than our pre-pandemic rates, which were right around 4%. So if interest rates are rising, why do experts not believe that home prices will level out or maybe even decrease? Demand. Supply and demand is still totally out of whack. Realtor.com predicts that our inventory woes will improve just the tiniest hair in 2022. They're forecasting only a 0.3% increase in housing inventory, and Freddie Mac estimates that we are 4 million homes short for demand right now. Low inventory sets a tone amongst buyers of cutthroat competition. When there is not a lot to choose from, buyers feel pressure to compete aggressively. And when they do, prices are pushed upward by multiple offers. Then when sellers hear about multiple offers, they are tempted to push the upper limits and beyond of what their agents advise for listing prices. A panel of 20 top economic and housing experts brought together by the National Association of Realtors project that the median home price will increase 5.7% in 2022 on top of what we already saw in 2021. So if you're waiting for the market to crash, you better re-sign your lease or settle into your parents' basement because there are no signs that it is going to happen in 2022. My suggestions for buyers planning to make a purchase this year. Start your home shopping early. If you have the ability to look for a home and purchase it here in the early months of 2022, do so because there won't be as many buyers out there actively shopping for you to compete against. Plus, you'll have the benefit of what is likely going to be the lowest interest rates of the year. Two, save your cash, people. If you can make a cash offer, you are going to be able to outmaneuver many other financed buyers. If you need financing to make that purchase, at least have the healthy nest egg to use, which will enable you to make an offer over list price, offer an appraisal gap guarantee, or give you a safety net and the peace of mind to waive inspections or put a cap on your potential remedy requests. All things which are going to make your offer much stronger and more appealing to the seller. Three, don't shop at the top of your budget. If you're looking at the potential likelihood of needing to make a full price offer or more in order to get the house of your dreams, you need to have some wiggle room. Four, consider condos. As we finish out the year, the local Iowa City market for single family homes and condos are two entirely different things. The absorption rate for single family homes in the greater Iowa City area is 2.5% which is solidly seller's market range. While the absorption rate for condos has jumped up to 7.9%, which is solidly buyer's market range. Although I do need to temper that with the knowledge that we have seen a lot of new construction condos come online this year in our market, and that could be artificially skewing that number a bit. Five, if you can afford new construction, really consider it as an option because you will be able to shop new construction homes without the same uh, buyer competition pressure that you would have in the pre-existing home market. But you do need to plan to be patient with supply issues. Your first choice options for things like fixtures and appliances may not be available and it may come down to the wire with suppliers struggling to deliver on time, which could impact your closing date. If you're a seller in 2022, it's shaping up to be another sweet year to sell your property. Buyer demand is still high, inventory is still low, 
And a lot of buyers learned hard lessons last year and they are ready to write very competitive offers, which means nice deal for you. What are your predictions for the real estate market in 2022? I would love to hear your thoughts. Drop me a comment down there in the comments section. Hey, it's been fun and I'll catch you later.